football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Tyrod Taylor, the new quarterback of the Cleveland Browns, take on a man back for a 15th NFL season, Eli Manning and the New York football Giants. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday night football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the sight of their men in blue emerging from the MetLife tunnels. We're set to go as the Giants get ready to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Hello, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon and partner. Our long national nightmare is over. After six months away, we're back to playing football. And this is way better than Watergate, isn't it? Now we get to have some fun. Watch the veterans. They'll play a little bit. We know that. But the big thing, this new crop of rookies and young guys, they get their chance to take the field and earn their spot. Aldrich Rosas, the Giants kicker, ready to go. And here we go from MetLife Stadium. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll have the speedy Tyrod Taylor calling the shots, the former Virginia Tech Hokie. His athleticism in college was never in question. In fact, many NFL scouts thought he might be better suited to play receiver, but always believed in himself, always wanted to be a quarterback, and continues to prove his worth at that position in the NFL. First and ten, it's Taylor. And his first pass is incomplete. He was trying to get it to his tight end, David Njoku. And that'll bring up second down. And a peek now at the offense for Cleveland. An emerging threat in the passing game is David Njoku, who had a really nice rookie season in 2017 with 32 catches, 386 yards, and four touchdowns. And many also remember he was the third first-round pick for Cleveland in the 2017 draft following Miles Garrett defensive end and Jabril Peppers defensive back. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. First carry for Carlos Hyde. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Throw, throw, throw. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. He's going to air one out. One-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. A big play that time for Cleveland. 45 yards. Tell the truth, partner. You didn't think he was coming down with that one, did you? Come on, tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'll tell you what, though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, everyone's going to be excited about that one, whether you're on the field or not. It permeates its way through the entire team, and I can't wait to see what they do on the next down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 37-yard line. First down, a run with Hyde. Oh, and now he bowls Carlos Hyde. See you later. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Carlos Hyde, 37 yards. And the Browns have taken the early lead. With these Thursday night games, sometimes you get those quick turnarounds. You wonder how a team's going to start. They started really well. Everyone's always wondering, going into a Thursday night game, who has their legs, who has a, you know the overall health of a team. But mentally, 
If you get that early edge, the other team might think to itself, ah, oh, it's been a short week. We're not really ready to go. You might run them into the ground that way. That's why getting that early score means a lot. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. A drive there of just four plays. And it was capped off by a Carlos Hyde touchdown run. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. An extremely durable player. Had 210 consecutive starts in the NFL before missing one in 2017. And when you have to deal with him in the playoffs and a Super Bowl's on the line, Eli Manning's at the top of his game. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Larry Ogunjobi with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Manning throwing on second down. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And the offensive starters for the New York Giants. In his third year now out of Oklahoma is Sterling Shepard. And he led the Giants in receiving yards in the absence of Odell Beckham in 2017. But had to battle the injury bug as well. Only played in 11 games with his own ailments. And when he's healthy, though, he is shifty, fast, electric down the middle of the field. And the Giants offense needs that in a big way. Third and long, it's Manning. He finds Beckham complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? back at the 43-yard line. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position. And we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss.
Manning to throw on second down. Caught right side. It's Lewis. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. They call me the Cowboy Ninja on, Amer on American. Can I say American Ninja Warrior? I just. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now. At the 41. Now Stewart on first down. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now the rookie first rider from Penn State, Saquon Barkley. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll try and run it. Here's Stewart. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. They go play action here on first down. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. And that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second down, they run with Stewart. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. 7-0 is our score. Back to MetLife Stadium in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company.
Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. the 23 yard line they stop him for only three that time and that'll bring up fourth down they didn't get the first down but i have to say i do like the call i like what they were trying to do try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up keep it on his feet get a little rack yardage yeah but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first and rosas puts this one through and they are on the board but still trailing it's seven to three a dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out? The, just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Now it's Duke Johnson here on the return. He juked him. And now spinning away. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. But you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. before he could even get started. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 67 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. First red zone opportunity for the Browns thus far. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. From the red zone now, Mayfield completes this to Callaway over on the right side. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. All right, here we go. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. They'll roll him out right, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 
They'll give him a yard on the play, and it's third down. And not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Here we go now. On third down, Mayfield. And he fires one, but incomplete. But well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Mayfield to throw for it on fourth. Boy, stays up. He may try and run for this. And he lost the football. And I think the offense got it back. Yes, they did. At the two-yard line is where they'll have it. Well, certainly not how they drew it up. A fourth down gamble turns into a fourth down scramble. But all is well. First down. Mayfield looks to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Mayfield now on second down, and he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. It's their quarterback taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns add six to their lead. That was a case of practice making perfect. Goal line offense had been their focus while prepping for this one. Almost as if you go back to training camp, isn't it? You strip it bare. You figure out what you need to make something work. Work on it all week long and get it done. That's got to feel great for them. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. First down, it's Lawletta. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. All right, here we go. On second down, here's Lawletta. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On first and 10, Lawletta. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Well, led on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Gal, the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Following the interception, Mayfield looking middle, and it's incomplete. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing, Mayfield. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Hurry up, here we go. And they're indeed going. It's Mayfield. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Field on first down. Flush to his right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Illegal forward pass. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, and now it's second and long. Now let's go! Second down, Mayfield. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. And now the Giants, they get the officials' attention and take another timeout. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Need 
something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Third and long for Mayfield. Fells has it, left side. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The Giants gonna burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he finds the man on the crossing route. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. A final shot before the break for Loletta. Oh, wide open, complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the play of the first half the prayer is answered how did they get that done and with the clock at all zeros they get the touchdown to make this just a one score game into the lockers and you know what else it does besides boost their confidence it doesn't change your game plan any see if they're down bigger going into the half you may have to revise what you plan to do in the second but now in this spot within one score and striking distance uh-uh. You go ahead and keep playing and do what you've worked out all week long. 